Hello and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host, Owen Guys, bringing you your team every single day, bringing you all the latest news, views, updates and rumours regarding the club. And if you want that, if you need that daily fix of your Glasgow Rangers, then hit that sub, ring that notification bell. And if you can give the video a like, guys, it does help the channel out. Well, we obviously talked earlier about Jerry Yates has been a possible striker for Rangers. And we've talked about numerous strikers over the last few days, Divakis, Haji Wright, um, who else? Fridgan, Shanklin, Nisbet, Yates, so many strikers uh, linked to the club. And that's always going to be the case, obviously, with the fact that obviously Morelos is gone. Possibility of Cholak being sold um, and Rangers obviously been in dire need of a striker, pretty much playing the most of the end of the season without one. Now, one player who has been constantly linked with a move to Glasgow is Josh Madger. Josh Madger, the former Sunderland Fulham, Birmingham City, and now Girondin de Bordeaux player, has been linked with a move back to the United Kingdom to come and play for Rangers. Now, it very much seems to be dependent, this move, or the possibility of a move, on what happens with Bordeaux. Now, Bordeaux are currently third in League Dirt with one game remaining. They apparently lost at the weekend to a Nen a Nancy or a Nancy or something like that, and their promotion rivals, Mets, overtook them. Now, there is only going to be two teams promoted from League Dirt this season, as League 1 is reducing to 18 teams from 20 teams, and there is no playoff system in France now anymore for relegation. That has been scrapped. Wrapped. Now, Bordeaux go into their final game of the season. I think it's a day they play and Mets play Bastia, needing Mets to lose or them to better um, better uh, Mets result by four goals or more, which will be very hard indeed. Now, if Bordeaux fail to achieve promotion, it will be highly likely that Madger will be on the move. Now, Bordeaux do have a year's option on the end of Madger's current contract, but I thought to be only likely to take that up if they are promoted to league earn this summer. So if they don't win that last game, there is a possibility that he could obviously come onto the open market. And he is certainly someone who has interested Rangers and is certainly someone who I think could add an awful lot to this team. Maggio is quick. He's uh, both footed. He's good in the area. He's good outside the area. He links play well. He is an out and out centre forward. He's not a hybrid player. You know, he's not a player that will play wide right, wide left for you. He's a guy that goes down the middle and he will score goals. Now, having actually seen this guy play play live, watched his movement, watched, it, watched his ability, he is a very talented striker. I mean, you know, he is the sort of player I think come in, easily hit 20 to 25 goals a season in the SPL, even 25 to 30 goals in the SPL and really help fire Rangers to success. Obviously, as well, the draw of European football is a big one that would help, obviously, persuade Josh to come to to Glasgow. If we look a little bit about a little few facts about Josh Madger, um, Joshua, it's again, it's a name that I'm going to massacre. I do apologize. Joshua Arololi Arashinari Olaswemo Swemo. Madja, what a name. That's a, that's a serious name, that is. He was born on December 27th, 1998 in Lewisham in London. However, he is a Nigerian international through his parents. He's 24 years old. He's 1.81 metres tall. So again, fits into that six foot plus um, striker mould that we are, and six foot plus player mould we seem to be going for this summer. He's right footed and he is under contract until the end of this season. But obviously there is an option uh, for for Bordeaux to extend that contract, which they may do just to get a transfer fee for him, even if they're not intending to keep him. Now, if we look at his career, he went through the system at Fulham, Manchester City, before going to Sunderland, where he played in the under-18s, under-23s, and for their full team being particularly successful during Sunderland's League One campaign under Jack Ross. He was then transferred in the January, in the last year of his contract, for one and a half million to Bordeaux. Uh, before Bordeaux actually used him, he was uh, sent on loan out to Fulham and to Stoke City before obviously coming and actually playing for Bordeaux uh, this year in Ligue 2. Let's have a little look at some of Josh Madger's stats. So here is the Coupe de France, their uh, version of the F Scottish FA Cup. Um, he's made He made three appearances, scoring a single goal with a 67% involvement in their starting 11, playing 64% of their minutes in, in the competition and had a 14% goal contribution. In League Dirt this season, he scored 16 goals in 37 appearances and had six assists. So you're looking at what, 22 goal contributions in 37 games in the league. Played in 92% of their starting 11, so played the vast majority, uh, started the vast majority of the season. 85% of their minutes this season and contributed to nearly half of their goals. It's a 43% goal participation rate as well. 
for Madja. Now, Madja was asked about the possibility of moving to Rangers, and he just said in response to that that he can't think of that at the moment. That was obviously in the uh, running to the end of the season. The league season is still going on. And as Michael Beale said in his press conference the other day, you know, we can't really comment on links or possible signings whilst football is still ongoing. In the case of obviously in France, Ligue 2 is still ongoing. And obviously Bordeaux have that final game at the weekend to play. Um, but, you know, Magic does seem to be someone the club is interested in. That is what, that is what I'm hearing. Uh, from different sources and from reading different websites and from reading different newspapers and, and, and looking at different accounts and lots of different information and lots of different areas of pulling this research together. Madger, I think, would be a very good buy. You know, if you if you put, put, ask me to put my money on the table as to who I would like Rangers to go for this summer, Madger would definitely top my wanted list. Like I said, the kid's quick, he's two-footed, he can score from inside the area, outside the area. He's a very intelligent footballer. The European experience that he's got with Bordeaux is very useful indeed. And I think he's someone who would add to this squad well rangers fans let me know in the comments below what do you think about josh magic is he the sort of player we need at the club i certainly think he is he does seem very talented indeed well guys if you've enjoyed the content please hit that sub ring that notification bell and give this video a like thank you so much for watching again it, you know your support has been absolutely amazing and victoria and i are so so grateful for all of your comments and subs and your subs and everything else it's absolutely superb thank you so much I'd speak to you again, obviously, tomorrow on Glasgow Rangers Nation, or could be any time, depending on if there's any breaking news. Um, obviously, a lot depends on the club. Remember, guys, we are the people, and we'll be back soon to speak to you on Glasgow Rangers Nation.